Welcome everyone to Nikki Loves Books. Nikki here and today we do have our next Darkly box to unbox together. So let's go ahead and get into it. And this is just something I'm going to say because I had to say it in my last video yesterday also. I am less than 10 miles from the really huge fire in Northern California. So if we hear signs or anything like that, I usually try to pause my videos, but there's so many helicopters, planes, sirens going on that really it's unrealistic for me to just like pause every time there is one. So please excuse any background noise if you do hear it in this video. So getting into our Darkly box, of course we first have the newsletter. The newsletter always starts out with a hello, welcome to Bookish Box, don't forget you have some choices and options. Then it does get into the details of the bookish box for that month, which this is March 2024. So yes, bookish box is behind, but they seem to be working on trying to catch up yet again. We'll see if they actually do. If you're interested to see what came in the bookish box for March 2024, check out my unboxing video of that box on my channel. Then it does get into the items for our Darkly box, which we're going to skip over because I will be going over those items as I reveal them to you. If you do end up enjoying either book of the month, they do have other book recommendations that you can add to your TBR. They have highlighted some of the items in the bookish box shop, as well as giving us a Spotify playlist, but it is just one playlist for both boxes. We have a MASH game that they included in this month's newsletter to discover your fantasy future. Then we have some of the staff's emotional support animals and their book recommendations and it's super cute. We have Torta the Turtle or maybe it's a tortoise, I can't tell the difference. Polly Pocket the Frog and Skylar who's also either a turtle or tortoise. Like seriously, if anyone knows how you're supposed to tell the difference, I would love to know. And lastly, they give us information about their bookish social fam. Let's get into the items because there's one item specifically that I'm super excited about other than the book. Like the book is always what I want this box for, but some of the items are definitely more fun for me than others. And there's definitely one that I'm super excited to reveal. But first we need a reminder of what the theme is for this box. And the theme for our March 2024 Darkly box is Shadow Daddies. Our first item, which is not the item I'm most excited for, but I'm curious to see how it looks is a Court of Thorns and Roses inspired mouse pad. Mouse pad series. I don't know. It should say a Court of Thorns and Roses series inspired mouse pad. Like, I don't know why the series is at the end. Or is it that they're planning a mouse pad series, which is really weird because I'm like, why do you need more than one mouse pad? I definitely have some questions about this, but let's go ahead and reveal the item. And here is our mouth. I was about to say mouth pad. It's definitely not a mouth pad. Here is our mouse pad. And I definitely don't like it. Bring your love for books to your workplace with this mouse pad inspired by Asriel's Truth Teller Weapon from A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Moss, designed by At The Bookish Box. So obviously in the description we now understand that they're talking about the book series and not that this should have said mouse pad series because that just sounds weird. It should have been A Court of Thorns and Roses series inspired mouse pad and not half series at the end. But about this mouse pad, it is so lackluster. Like this is boring. It's almost as bad as the other mouse pad that I think a Bookers Box did where it was just a map of a novel that I like but it was an obscure fantasy novel and I don't need a mouse pad with a map on it for a fantasy world. Like if it was Tolkien that would be totally recognizable and really cool but it wasn't. And this mouse pad is just like you can't even tell it's from A Court in Thorns and Roses unless you know Truth Teller and remember that from the book. And it's literally just a sword, like a diagram of a sword. Like, it's so boring. I don't, I don't like it. And I don't even like the color scheme. Like, it's not a very pleasant color. Like, it's just blah. So definitely not a fan of this. Hopefully the next item will make me forgive all bad things in this box because it is a crown. And I'm gonna have no idea how to say this. So it's a light in the flame inspired Nyctosis's crown. And the crown is pretty. I do like that it's a blue. Let's go ahead and put that on for today. We're gonna go ahead and just wear this for the rest of the video because I love me some crowns. Crown from the darkest depths of the Shadowlands. Feel the power radiating from this crown fit for the primal of death himself. 
inspired by Light in the Flame by Jennifer L. Armentrout, designed by At the Bookish Box. This is a J-Law book. I've never read it, but I bet you anything it's on my TBR because after I read the Lux series by J-Law, I was obsessed and want to read everything that she's written because I loved the Lux series. I do like this crown and again I like the fact that it is blue. I do enjoy the fact that it's very different from the other crowns that they've done. So I'm in love with this crown. Next up we do have another lame item and it's because it's a sticker and that's all it is. But again crown, I'll probably forget the dub sticker. And here's our sticker. It says I'll see you in the next life bonded and this is from Jay Bree's series The Bonds That Tie. This sticker is perfect for placing in your reading journal or Kindle case designed by at Hardius. Do like the sticker overall. I love the Bonds That Tie. I literally devoured that series pretty quickly. I want to reread it and I think I just read it like within the past year or something like that. You know, it is a cute sticker. It's kind of a lame item, but I understand that they're doing this in boxes that they typically have the crowns in because the crowns are more expensive to make and so they do a cheaper item in those boxes. So I forgive them for the sticker. It is a cool sticker. I just don't have a lot of places to put stickers. Next up, we do have the Cabinet of Curiosities enamel pin. So this is something new that they're doing in 2024. So enamel pins aren't new, but what is new is that there's one of three different kinds that you might end up getting. So this is the third volume of the 2024 Cabinet of Curiosities collection. This one's theme is Pick Your Poison, Shadow Daddy Edition. The deadliest things come disguised in the prettiest of packages. Fandoms include A Kiss of Iron by Clara Sager, and that is the rare one. Ooh, A Core of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Moss, that's the extra rare. And then Legendary is Flesh and Fire series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So thankfully they do have a key on the box, like an image of what the enamel pins look like because I would never be able to tell which one is from what anyway. So let's go ahead and see what I got. There we go. And it says, oh, it says the Shadow Singer. So this is definitely, yes, the one from A Court in Thorns and Roses. So lucky me, I'm very happy to have that. And all honestly, I am definitely over enamel pins and hope to never see them in 2025 in any of the book boxes, but it seems to be like a favorite among all the book subs, so I don't know if we're ever going to see an end to them. That is actually all the items in this box with the exception of the book and then the sticker of the book cover. Literally, the only item that I liked in this box is the crown. And the sticker I think is cute and I can put it in my water bottle or put it in my reading journal if I really want to. But the mouse pad, definitely not using. That is definitely going to be put aside for giveaway. And the pin, like, I'll put it on my little cabinet of curiosities pin board, I guess, just because it's from Court of Thorns and Roses. But I'm just really over the pin thing. I'm just kind of like, I'm happy I got the crown, but everything else could have been trashed. Like, the more I look at this crown, the more I'm loving it. So let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Let's go ahead and get into our grand finale, which is, of course, our book. Our book this month is A Kiss of Iron by Claire Sager. In the cutthroat game of court life, masters manipulate pawns and you never know which one you are. One thing is certain, there's no space on the board for love. A penniless noblewoman, Kat, is on the verge of losing everything when she's offered a well-paid job that could be her salvation or her ruin. Drawn into the court's deadly intrigues, she's given a single task. Spy on the most powerful Fae Lord known as the Night Queen's Shadow. Bastian Marwood is handsome, ruthless, and cunning, but Kat can't decide if he's a threat to her kingdom or just her heart. To uncover the truth, she must play a dangerous game of desire and deceit, pushing him to reveal his secrets while protecting her own. But Bastion's shadows have a hold on her, one she isn't sure she wants to escape. Kat soon learns that at court, nothing is as it seems, and even the best laid plans can be destroyed in an instant. As a pawn on the board, she can't afford to fall victim to love, only fight for survival. Totally sounds like a book that I'm going to enjoy. But before we get into the details of our exclusive Lux edition, let's go ahead and take a look at that sticker. Cover Lust Sticker, our exclusive Lux Edition cover of A Kiss of Iron by Claire Sager, is too beautiful to display only on your shelf. 
place this exclusive cover less sticker on your e-reader or keep it in your reading journal. At Jen's desk, design this beautiful cover. So it's just a sticker of the cover of the book so you can do what you will with it. I know a lot of people have been using stickers in their reading journals and that's what I've been doing. So our exclusive edition, of course, has an exclusive cover that is very, very, very pretty and colorful. And the back quote says, survival alone is not enough. There comes a point when you need to live. We also have beautiful stenciled edges all the way around. Reverse dust jacket artwork. Very beautiful. And while I like it, I don't like the fact that the title is not on the cover. So I do like the fact that the title's on the spine at the very least. So if you use this, you can still read the title on your bookshelf. But I don't like that the title is also not on the cover. For me, that doesn't make it a true reverse dust jacket. We also have a foiled hardcover case. I love that purple pink. And it says, I was a different creature entirely. Something free, something that lived for now. Memento Mori. We have illustrated end papers, which are very, very pretty and vibrant, just like the rest of the book. And lastly, we have a printed author signature inside as well. So that is it for all our details of our exclusive Lux edition of A Kiss of Iron from our March 2024 Darkly box. Be sure to like this video if you want to see me do more unboxings. Subscribe to join me for more bookish fun in the future. And again, comment below and let me know your thoughts on this box and this book. When will I actually be able to read this? Because I am very excited because it sounds definitely like a book I would have chosen on my own. So I'm currently reading Sanctuary of the Shadow. Then I have The Spell Shop, which is the Owlcrate adult book for this month, so July, that I just received yesterday. Then I can get to A Kiss of Iron. So my books are lining up again because I do actually have another box to unbox, and that's the To Be Read box, which is the Lit Joy Crate box. And I got that box today, so I will probably be filming that unboxing today and having the video come out tomorrow, most likely. I don't want to overwhelm myself with too much going on because I already have a lot with watching that fire that's like 350,000 acres now. It's ridiculous. And send those good vibes to California because we definitely need this fire to go out. So that is it for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Have a good weekend.